Hello guys and I warmly welcome you to part 13 of this documentation video series. So today we're going to be looking at the Citicon context menu strip. It's one of the exciting menu strip that we can include in our application. So what is a context menu strip? This is a piece of component that allows you to handle the right click of the app within the application so you can handle the right click within your application and allow the user to see some specific tasks or options when they right click within your application to do so you will need a citicon context menu strip so let me drag and drop one from the toolbox onto a win form there it is so i'm going to style this so that you can see what i mean so i'm going to say hello as the first item the second item there and the third item, how are you? And the fourth item, I'm going to say welcome. And I'm going to create a sub-menu, which is welcome one. And then I'm going to write this as sub-welcome two. And I'm going to create another one as sub-welcome three. And I'm going to create a sub menu again, which is sub sub one. And here sub 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 one. Okay. And then at the end, I'm going to say exit. Right. So as you can see that uh, when we click on the form, the menu items disappear. It's because the menu items are contained within the component that you've just added if you want to see them just uh, left click once on the menu and you see them right there and you can see here we have options that are showing right there right so how do we use this uh, within our application well the first thing to do we have to handle one of the most important events so that we can see this context menu i would like you to right click on the citicon context menu after dropping it onto onto the win form and select properties and go to events and double click on item clicked so this event is going to be useful when we want to detect the item that has been clicked by the user if the user clicks on welcome we're going to be able to see where he clicked and we're going to perform some specific actions because the user has clicked on that item. Yes, so action one, uh, action two, as an example, and action three. We're not going to handle all these actions, but we're just going to handle the exit only, but this is just a demonstration purposes. The way we're going to do it works in handling any of these options that we have created right so now we have set the item clicked event right here which is ready to be programmed would like now to would like now to assign the context menu for this form to the citicon context menu strip how do we do it it's very easy we just type menu context menu strip context menu strip is equal to citicon context menu strip one that's it and within our item clicked event we're going to capture the event and see the item that has been clicked so we can do it like this we're going to create a statement so one of the best ways to do it is to create a switch or an if else statement so let's try to use an if statement if if the event clicked item and the text of the clicked item is equivalent to exit we are saying if the click event is on the exit menu item context menu item do something in here we're going to close the form right so what are we saying here we are saying capture all the events and capture the clicked item 
get is text. If the text is equivalent to exit, it means that the user has clicked on this exit context menu item. Hence, close the form. Let's try it. Let's run the project and let's wait for Visual Studio to reboot, save changes, and show the form. Now, we're going to right-click on the form. We can see all the options that we've added right there. And then when we click on exit, look at what happens. The form is closed. Why? Because we're, hand, we're capturing the clicked item and the text of the clicked item and comparing it if it matches the text that we have right here. So the clicked item is exit and the text here matches the exit here. So let's put a breakpoint here. Let's run our project and see what happens. Right, the breakpoint is hit and when we hover over the text, you can see that the event has been captured, the clicked items text has been captured, and it is exit, which is equivalent to this exit. Let's proceed. Now, we are within this uh, condition because this statement has been satisfied. It is true. So, the, when you continue, the form is going to be closed. So, this is how we can use the Citicon context menu strip. It's quite easy, as you have seen from the video, and it's very useful if you want to enable the context menu capabilities within your application and you want the users to do certain things when they click on particular context menu options or buttons. So, I invite you please guys to go ahead and try this and use this uh, context menu within your application. One such use case which is very useful is when you decorate your form to form border style to none. You can use the context menu strip to close the form. Let's uh, wait for Visual Studio to build and see. There is the form. And uh, when I right click on the form, I can close the form. Let's run again to see without a white background. Yes, there is the form. When I right click the form, I can see the context menu. The context menu we have created together. And when I click on exit, watch what happens. The form exits. So, I invite your friends to go ahead and see this uh, Citicon context menu strip. Use it in your application. It's going to make your life a lot more easier as you are going to have options to add more features to your application. Thank you very much for joining me in this video and I invite you friends to subscribe if you haven't done so as I will post many videos so that you don't miss out on anything. My name is Russell Chidakwa. I work as a software developer for Citicon Framework and I'm so privileged to be with you today. Happy coding and have a nice day. Cheers.